Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Siam here. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys every single store you guys could go to in Oakland. The rules of this video, if you could spend money, aka this money that's up here, then it's a store. So we're going to start off. First location, obviously, the Oak Depot. You can buy a bunch of stuff here because you don't know. Tools, cars, uh, refineries, forges, sanders, plankers, all that good stuff. Conveyors, some discs, all that good stuff. Next, if you are currently watching this in April, we still have the Lucky Bargains, the Springtime Splendor, the Excellent Deals. So St. Patrick's, uh, Flower Shop, and Easter stuff. Next up, from the Oak Depot, we're gonna follow this road all the way down to the Lighthouse, which is our next shop. And then this is the Lighthouse. You can buy a bunch of stuff here. Here, we got tires, a rusty putter, trolley, music disc. And another music disc right there. If you wanna see more music discs, click um, somewhere up there. Uh, shows you how to get every single music disc in the game currently. You can also buy these boxes. There's even medium ones right here. The grabby grabber. This one makes you hold things for 15 seconds. The one in my hand is 75,000. You can hold stuff for 60 seconds. We got the small crates. Inside we got the oak mobile on the second floor. We got the magic anchor wand. And we got some discs. That's about it for the lighthouse. Next up is gonna be Mike's Mine. You can only buy some stuff here. Ranging from dynamites, to small bombs, to lamps, lanterns, all that good stuff. Next, you're going to have to buy some bombs. And then go down the mine. We're going to go to the magma shop. You're going to go down here. Go down the middle split. And then all lefts. Blow up the wall. Go straight over these boards, over these. I'm speed running this if you couldn't tell. Then you're gonna see this big pit. You're gonna go straight. Once you hit this spot, you're just gonna go left over this bridge through here. Then you might have to clear out the way. Once you get down there, you're gonna have to squeeze your way in through here. Go through here. Up here. And just park your car right here. Now, if you don't have the fusion coil or the obsidian grabber, kinda sucks, I'm not gonna lie. There is an easier way. This is how I know if you don't have the fusion coil, 70K, it's not that hard. Or you can even just get the gravity coil. You just want to keep climbing up. Then you want to cross this bridge. Cross this bridge. And the way I just got here is the easiest way to get your magma trees. Chop them down, throw them down, all that. But you're going to climb up here. Jump up here. Keep going straight across this bridge and here we are now in the magma shop you can buy box lava a fire potion you can buy the obsidian skull which makes you walk on lava and you take no heat damage there's the molten moi and yeah next we are going to get back in our car Go back to Mike's Mine and just get two bombs for a later shop. Now, after Mike's Mine, you're going to keep going straight all the way back here and just follow this path. Also, I showed off this shop in one of my previous videos about the whole Easter St. Patrick's Day update. You can also see it like over there. Yeah, hey guys, did you guys know more than 90% of you guys watching are not subscribed? So I'll greatly appreciate it if you guys actually hit that sub button and comment down below if you guys want to see anything specific, any specific games, any specific tutorials, all that good stuff. And I'll make it. So here we got the Floral Lore Shop. 
here we got vases we got some flowers we got the die machine lantern we got some dies and then here we have a little secret brick that people actually like <laughs> um here we got fabrics types of which you could die the press machine die machine more vases a trellis more flowers a little secret grow eye if you want if you're into that stuff some glasses and pink lanterns we got large vases and that's about it for this one I'm just gonna get three more bombs because there's one more that we need three bombs okay next up we're gonna go straight turn right up here take the small bridge also you guys might be wondering why I'm posting a video like this where it's quote unquote too simple or too obvious. I'm just trying to do tutorials that are useful for everyone because when I was a noob, I didn't know where some of these shops were. I didn't know what they sold, all that, you know? Also, I couldn't make a video for every single shop, but I'm not like that. I just want a one-stop shop video type of thing. Here we got the Allen's Auto in the logistics store. Allen's Auto is currently closed, but there is something in the shop. Um, you click up there for the music discs. There is a music disc in here. Um, yeah, in the logistics store, we got a bunch of uh, stuff. <laughs> it's hard to explain what this stuff does. It's more like outputs and gates and activators and all that nerdy stuff. We got some buttons, switches, sliders, pressure point pressure pads, joysticks, incrementer, relays, everything like that. We got a music note, if you want to get that Minecraft thing going, received, all that. We got marbles, we got a privacy glass, seven segment display, 14 segment display, LCD, we'll make clocks with these by the way. LCD, I don't know what this does. Electronic billboard, alignment conveyor, Filter conveyor, four-way conveyor, nothing with this guy, but a little stuff. While we're here, we're just going to keep going straight, head over to the beach. Now once you get to the beach, we got this shop, the Radical Shack. And here, we could buy surfboards, a rusty scuba tank, the living axe, beach ball, rice, um, the sun is rising disc and the unity disc and i think this is a one one server purchase but there's also a pillow here for those that want a pillow yeah these uh surfboards are rng based just so you know first one is uh like a gertie board gertie is uh like a pig i don't know these guys are obsessed with that stuff but <laughs> anyways we're gonna head back by the bridge, but not past the bridge. We're still gonna be in this area. And now here, right before the logistics and before the bridge, you're gonna go up here. There is a faster way if you have the refined scuba tank. I'll show you guys in a second, because I know the refined scuba tank takes a while to get 150 Lumite pieces. Um, so not everyone has it, so I'm just going to make it as bare bones as possible. So you're going to follow the route I'm taking. Over here. Here. This is not the exact route I do for Lumite, but it's, when I get up top, I go around and then kind of loop back around. But then if there's nothing, I go back, go straight down here, check here, see if anything spawns there. Break those, nothing, nothing, nothing. Then probably got to break some pieces. Now, once you're in the water, you could only go in this area. Over here, it gets deeper. And if you don't have the refined scuba tank, your car will flood and break down. I'll drive over here, go straight. Through this waterfall. I have to turn off my refined scuba tank. And here is the Lumite door. You have a sticky bomb for one credit, flashlight for one credit, night vision goggles for 50, 
refined scuba tank for 150. This makes you breathe longer and walk underwater and drive underwater. Over here, we got the mold eye. We got a glitched out gleam harvester and a mold dog. Also, I will be providing timestamps. So if you guys like check all the way down there, like shake your mouse or whatever, tap the screen, there should be like chapters. So if you're looking for something specific, just check down below. Next, from the Oak Depot, instead of turning right, we're gonna go straight across the big bridge. Then you're gonna turn right, go up here. Next, so this is pretty self-explanatory. Just keep going straight all the way to the end. Here we are. This is called the classic shop. We have the trapped beans, stud vinyl, which wasn't here when I was making the every disc in the game video. Also keep in mind this item rotation is every 12 hours. So stud vinyl, trapped beans, trapped beans, the oak piece and the confetti launcher. There's also a speed coil, fusion coil, gravity coil, and the stud present and some other stuff. So once you guys get over here, there's the main road to the shop and then there's this back way, but you go all the way to the end of the desert. You got the Illumin designs. There's a bunch of stuff in here from lights, the spawn locations, turntables, some more doors, flagpole, painting, tape measure, oil if you wanted that. The fire emitter, which you can change the color to, depending on the material you put in there. A bunch of schematics to help build. The boxed water, elevator, garage door, some discs, and a bunch of lamps. And we got the neon lights. Next up, we're gonna head over here and we're gonna go into the mushroom cave. You're gonna go right and just keep going straight. Just follow this path. And then be right over here. Now in here we have the we have the Kalostein. We have the Moai, which is RNG. He has a chance to spawn with eyes. We got some discs. I bought some, just so you guys know. I paused the recording and I forgot to unpause it, so that's why this thing wasn't open, or this thing's already open. Also, keep in mind, this takes two bombs to open, so be prepared. We have the dice, mysterious teacups. I don't know if I said that. And then up here, we have a secret disc called the Fungus Drift. Next, we have the pirate ships. Now the pirate ship has three spawns. Luckily for us, one of the spawns is right here in this cave. Follow this road back. Not all the way back, we're still gonna be in this area. Now once you hit here, you're gonna turn right. So they added a little water in between. So if you don't have the refined scuba tank, you're probably gonna have to just walk that stuff back. And here is one of the other spawns. He parks his ship right on this wooden board. And lastly, his last spawn location can be in Mike's Mines. You're gonna go inside, go to the right side, and just keep going straight. Don't turn, go straight. And here he is. This is the pirate ship, the three dynamite sticks, the seven dynamite sticks, so these large bombs have a guaranteed chance to blow up every single wall in the game, which is pretty useful. And that's about it. That's every single shop in the game. So yeah, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, join the Discord, join the Roblox group. Please comment down below if you guys want to see anything specific at all. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.